the roundtable believes we're underperforming economically. Uh, while we've had this very slow recovery, I mean, it's, we're going on nine years where we've not had uh, GDP growth above 3% in the country. Coming out of the kind of depths of the recession we had in 08, 09, you would have expected historically at least much more robust growth. And it, this is, uh, I had a fellow tell me the other day, he was giving a talk and he said, you know, this is the slowest recovery we've had since the Great Depression. And a fellow who was a friend of his and a man I know well, who's out, actually is out at Stanford, said, no, it's actually the slowest recovery since we started keeping records. Uh, because it, it, it's not to say it's not a recovery, it is, things are better. I mean, we've been adding jobs, a few jobs every month, but we went down so far that coming back has been difficult. I think we've got to have a competitive policy environment, and, and right at the top of that list is, is tax reform. I mean, the U.S. tax code's uh, hopelessly out of date. It was terrific in 86 when it was modernized. It hasn't been changed since then, and we've fallen dramatically behind the rest of the world. And it's one of the reasons that you've read these stories we just, about, about companies being headquartered in other parts of the world. I mean, it can't be really the policy of the United States that sports teams get to have the best players in the world, but companies don't get to have the best <laughs> engineers, the best scientists, the best chemists from the world. I mean, really? We, we ought to be able to compete for that, so I think we kind of know what we need to do there. The nation with the best talent wins. I said the best schools, but really it's the best talent. You'd like them to come through your schools, but that's the other reality. If you can't sort of grow your own, if you can't create your talent, then what do you, ha what do, you do? You've got to find it. And if you can't bring the talent here, what's your other option? You go to where you can get the talent. Microsoft built a huge research development facility up in Vancouver, Canada. Why'd they do that? Because the immigration, Canada, immigration laws in Canada were much easier to work with, so they could bring scientists from all over the world there. One of the reasons that the, the tenure that I enjoyed is not possible is because of term limits today, which I think has been sort of a as it turned out, a plague on Michigan government because it's just deprived the state of the uh, institutional memory that comes from longer service. The one thing that I've always said, if I could get a do-over, uh, we would have started much quicker with our sort of data analytics. It was kind of new then maybe, but uh, we were trying to do more of this, but I think if we, because I think transparency is really important and we, we, we have got to have greater accountability. 